What is up guys? Welcome to the final part of our tutorial series. And uh, yeah, we're going to just jump right into it. So we're going to get this drawing really uh, polished up. And uh, yeah, so pretty excited. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just kind of smoothing out uh, certain parts of the helmet. Um, you know, because you, you kind of want to just make sure that it doesn't look too rough. And also, too, we don't want it to be too smooth. So I'm just very lightly just going over these areas and um, just making it look smooth. So, yeah, I am using the smudge tool. As you can see, highlight it right there on the left hand of the screen on the little toolbar. Um, but, yeah, so I just wanted to thank you guys again for... Um, supporting this series and coming and watching and all that good stuff and uh always feel free to leave your comments below and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel too um and then you guys uh you know keep coming back after this because i have another series that's going to be dropping right after this one and i'm just going to try to keep them coming and coming and coming and coming uh and then also too if there's something that you guys want to see me do for this series then uh or for a, a new series or something just post in the comments and then uh i'll see if i can turn it into a series so yeah um very very excited for you guys to see the, the final result of this drawing so but yeah hope you guys are all doing well so just gonna kind of just kind of just practically just kind of like touch up little small little touch-ups that we're making to this. Okay, so let's drop this down just a little bit right here. And we're gonna add a little bit of more shadow right here on the side. So we've kind of done this already before, but as I said in the previous videos, layering, layering, layering. It's just a big process. You know, we're just always just making sure like you're blending all the little elements together. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a fun time, it's a fun time, especially if you enjoy like this uh, constantly going back and detailing little areas and stuff. So you can merge that together. And then what we're going to do right here. Is let me first make that small. There you go. And so these little spots right here were just these are practically just a little bit of just like shine. Um, so you'll see. So we're just gonna kind of blur that down in there just a little bit. I think that looks nice. I think that makes it look pretty nice. So as I've said in all of my other videos, you guys please remember. Uh, <laughs> Be patient. Give yourself uh, patience as you're, be gracious to yourself as you're working. And uh, yeah, and practice, 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 practice. And then also too, don't forget some of the prompts that I was going to, you know, kind of told you guys about, about just drawing things out or writing a description of your drawing out. If you're having a hard time trying to figure out what to draw, like you don't have to sit there in front of the blank canvas can write something out of what you what imagine the drawing to be and then from there then uh then you can go off of that little paragraph or whatever you have written out so so right here i'm just kind of cleaning up uh the the circular area around the mask i kind of want that to stand a little bit more because it's a it's kind of a little messy so i want it to look more like an indent right there so i don't want it to look flat so you guys probably heard me talk so much uh, about not wanting things to be flat and so, so you see we do that right there and then we'll come over here to filters and then we'll get the blur and that will make it a little bit softer you see that so it just has a little just kind of a little lip that kind of looks like it's smooth that goes in there you see that and we can merge that together so now it's, it looks more like a little like a crater um a smooth crater but nonetheless a little crater <laughs> So again, right here, just kind of cleaning up those areas where I'm just making these low lines stand a little bit more, just because they're a little faded. If you can look closely on them, you can see they're um, a little faded.
So I can merge that together. Same thing right here. And same thing right here. So see how much better that looks? It's like that nice, good, rich, dark color right there. I can turn it down just a little bit and then merge it. So it literally is, it's almost like you, you build out the drawing, right? You build out the drawing and then you're constantly doing like little edits and stuff, just like helping this area grow, helping this area grow, you know, just like giving each little area the attention that it deserves um, and just working with it just till the whole drawing is just one awesome piece. So right here, I'm adding a little bit of a lighter spot because I want that spot to actually stand out a little bit more than what it uh, what it currently is at, at the moment. And of course, we're going to drop the opacity on that just a little bit. There we go. So you just actually just kind of blurring that together just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. I'm also going to show you guys how I make this drawing look really like a really nice, fuzzy, like warm look to it almost like the like the camera's like out of focus or something so i'm going to show you how to do that and stuff um but here i wanted to add a few few more little wires because you know i like the big wires but then it always feels more like electrical with like the big wires and then some skinnier wires and stuff so um variation you know not just having everything like the same size uh switching it up and you know can actually go a long way so it, like even that it looks it looks it looks better and in my opinion someone else could see and they'd be like oh that looks terrible but <laughs> i don't know i like like uh cyber you know cyborg creatures or or just full-on robots and stuff i just I, I like them like like showing the wires and stuff i just i think it's cool so right here i'm actually cleaning this area up a little bit because it actually needs to come up just a little bit it had too much of a little curve onto it so i'm just straightening that out so kind of making it a little more closer to the the right hand side so if you can see that that's what we're going to do right here let's actually make this a little bit smaller and we're going to do a little bit of cleanup so see, imagine, remember early in the series, I was talking about doing cleanup work. Imagine if we hadn't done any and we're at this point, right? We'd have so much to do um, and it, <laughs> it would honestly be a headache. So thankfully, we're already, we're, we're, we're pretty far past that. So now it's the, all the cleanup work that we're going to have to do is pretty, pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. It's a lot easier to see as well. Um, I'm just kind of pointing these off a little bit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so just remember, do, do little cleanup work as you're, as you're going. And then when you get closer to the end, you won't have just a huge mess and you won't feel overwhelmed too. Um, very important. I just, I really hope you guys don't feel overwhelmed as you're drawing. Um, if you ever feel like you're just like, it's just too much, just take a break. I always call it getting new eyes. Just get up and go do something else. Go for a walk. Um, you know, just do something different and then come back. So here I'm doing more highlights um, because highlights are extremely important. They are so, so important when it comes to uh, your drawings actually like, you know, standing out and actually having like a pop to them and them not just looking like super flat or, um, you know, it's just, it's one of my favorite things. It's a, it's a, um, it's a process that I really enjoy doing. So we'll just merge that together. I do apologize if you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background. <laughs> they, uh, they bark at everything. They bark at their own shadow. <laughs> so 
right here. So we did the little indent area. Now I want this to have a little bit more of like a chrome shine look to it. And that's going to make it stand out a little bit stronger. So I'm going to drop the opacity on that. Right. I'm going to come in. Do, whoops. We'll do a little bit right here. Of course, we'll go back to the filters. We're going to grab the blur. And we're going to adjust that. Look at that. Does that look nice? See that? And then we can merge that together. So it's kind of like making it look like it's pushing out towards us. You see what I'm saying? Then we're going to do some more, uh, more highlights. I think my dogs are barking at my neighbor. My neighbor has cows. So <laughs> he's, they're probably barking at those. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're going to do some more highlights here on the arm. Right here on the hand, over on this side, we kind of, and then we'll do some really small little ones right here on these wires, and then we can do some right here, we'll do it on the shiny part, move on up. You see how that's already making it like pop even more? The thing is, is, you just have to be patient. You have to get all the layers and stuff layered up right. So then when you start doing this, then it actually starts to, um, you know, it starts to work. And I'm not going to put like a heavy, heavy amount on the this side right here. Because that's where, on the left side is where most of the darker shadows are. So we can keep like the, the really strong highlights to the right side because the light is coming, it's from that, that side. So let's not forget. Let's come in right here. There we go. And then we'll do a few right here because technically those wires are behind his head, so they would be receiving a little bit of light as well, too. All right, there we go. Merge that together. make that stand out just a little bit more it's not too much very subtle little things sometimes very subtle um just having little things that it's like you can see it but you may not see it right away but it's there like that little dark shadow that we just put in right there So right here, I actually wanted the robe to fall down a little bit further just to kind of cover out that, that little area. Just because, um, you know, it looked a little, looked a little rough right there. So we'll put the highlights right there. Just kind of make it look a little more clean and smooth. I could do some more highlights here on this side. Maybe there's like a secondary light source of something that's over there on the, the left-hand side. Something that's just casting a little bit of light onto him. So we want to kind of make that stand out just a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do this either, but this, you're more than welcome to, to, to do this. Um, but... It's just one of those things. It's like, and you could play around too. But depending on what your drawing is, you can always mess around with different colors. But see, I like the way that looks. It's like a, um, it's like a nice kind of warmish color. That's right over there. So it looks good. So we'll uh, merge that together. And more wires. We'll move that to the back. Um, <laughs> quite a few of my drawings, if you look at them, the ones that have to do with robots, you'll notice that there's at least like a color wire or something. Most of them. So I don't think every single one of them, but I mean, I've done so many robot drawings. But usually I like to have like at least like one color wire or something. So that's just, a, it's not really important, but <laughs> it's just something that I like to do. Oops. Okay. So we're going to, again, we're going to kind of go in here with adjusting these highlights a little bit again.
sometimes you might want to know like when is enough enough and honestly i you know some people might think it sounds weird or whatever but i always say it, the drawing <laughs> will kind of tell you when it's done like you'll know you know like when you see things and you're like you know i i'm okay with this um I, this is this is a good look that's usually probably about when you're done um and then there's always the <laughs> the part where you could just go crazy just like doing everything you know just like you just like i'm just gonna keep texturizing okay so right here um i was just rambling but uh the brush i just got here the dry brush now we're actually going to use this this is um this is going to help give the helmet uh some scratches just to kind of make it look a little more worn and torn so layering it up a little bit so now this stuff looks like more like top like uh surface level scratches um, or just like a little bit of like maybe like dirt or debris or just little stuff like that um, but it's going to actually give more depth to the previous layering work that we've done underneath that so this is going to kind of help add some more um, look at that see that looks nice maybe we'll turn it down a little bit more there we go merge that together yeah that looks good because, you know, like, unless you're going for a look where you want your robot to look like it just came out the factory, like, it's super clean and all that stuff. Like, for a character like this, where it looks like he's probably living off of the land, um, obviously he's a robot, so he can't eat. But maybe he's, like, growing these flowers or whatever and selling them, <laughs> you know. But the point is, is you want him to look uh, rough, you know. You don't want him to look all super smooth and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah. So just keep those little things in mind. Like, what is the environment? Like, am I putting my character, you know, if, if he's in this environment and I'm, am I making the look of that character, am I making that mirror the environment that he's part of? So, so this right here, we're actually going to use this to make like a small lens flare. So we draw these lines across and then we're going to go into filters. We're going to get the blur and we're going to adjust this a little bit. So look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's, look how quick that is to do that. Can you see that? So let's... There you go, look at that. And that just adds a little bit more, you know, adds some, a little bit more life to it. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, those are lights on the front of his helmet, so why not give them a little bit of a little bit, uh, lens flare so we can merge that together. These little details, they go a long way. They go a very long way with helping your art to stand out more, um, you know, because we could have just left it to where it was blank, right? Could have just left it like that, but it's I think it's better this way. So we're just going to adjust the colors a little bit on him, just as practically the saturation. Um, just make it a little bit stronger. He's looking great, though, don't you think? Especially considering we came from the big blob, and um, it's, looking, it's looking pretty smooth. I like it. So every, <clears throat> every now and then, always go back and just double check your layers and just see like what um, what are you uh, what layers are being used, what aren't you know, just so you know. So this right here, um, we're just adding this to the sun just to give it a little bit of a, a cool look. So this project is just a lens flare. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and. Um, if you notice, we have that square right around the edge, and we want to get rid of that because that is terrible. And um, we will go with the eraser. And I had I had the smudge tool, but that's not what I wanted. So I wanted the eraser. I want to make it really soft, so it doesn't destroy the light layer that's actually that we just created. But we just want to get rid of those harsh edges. So. A soft uh, a eraser that's usually like, you know, like something like really smooth, uh, 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 like a, like an air spray, like an air, uh, yeah, like an air, uh, <laughs> why am I spacing on it? Uh, yeah, there's different layers or, or different levels of like the eraser. You can do like hard or soft. So for something like that, you will want soft. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so much to be able to get the words to come out to explain that, but yeah. 
Save, 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 save. Sometimes my mind is like thinking faster than I can actually like get my words out. <laughs> so I have to like I have a, a moment where I cannot compute. <laughs> okay. Uh let's see. This little flower here. I really like our background. I think our background's pretty awesome. So right here, I am just adding uh, some grass, little blades of grass, because, you know, uh, I don't want it to be like super full, like, oh, wow, look at this luscious grass or whatever. But like just a few blades will help add with the immersion of the drawing. Um, and then again, too, we want to make it look like the character is actually like on the ground. So we're going to do a little trick here to um, lock him down. So just these little blades of grass, this stuff will go very long way by the time uh, we're actually done with this. And we are extremely close. Like we're, we're getting close to being done with this drawing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. This has uh, been a true joy for me to be able to create content like for you, like this and, you know, be able to, to share it with you guys. So just keep making these little blades of grass, just like so. You see, even that right there already, that, that I, me personally, I feel like that looks better than just having just the, just the dirt, you know, but we're not done yet, so. So I'll add a little bit more over here on this side. If at any point too, if you guys feel like you need to like pause the video, rewind it and go back or something like that's completely fine. So, but yeah, so anyway, uh, just making these little blades of grass and um, not being too particular on, you know, which way, like, would you know, just, just, it's kind of, I'm, I'm envisioning this as kind of like stiff, stiff grass, you know, like this is kind of tough stuff. Now, if you notice, I just made a new layer and I put it in front of the character because we want a few of those blades of grass to be in front. Uh, we don't want them all to be behind him because otherwise then it looks like he's not really there. So if you put the, make sure you put the blades of grass in front of his foot and some behind him, um, that way it will look like he's actually in the middle of which technically he's in the middle of those layers, but it will make it look like he's actually like locked in. So you can see I was just adding some right here around the staff, you know, so you definitely want to make it look like, you know, you put the staff down on the ground, there's like little blades of grass poking up around it. Little things like that. And I mean, you can, I mean, it's art, so you're free to do whatever you want, but you can be as creative as you want when it comes to creating this grass or whatever. Um, still have a few more tricks. So like we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to make some of the blades a little bit darker. Almost like a shadow. We've done this earlier. So, and then we'll slightly go over with an eraser. And what that's doing is practically giving just a slight variation of color in the blades of grass without us having to like go in by hand and just do like little highlights on each blade of grass. Cause you know, I've done it before, but I don't really like doing it, so <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're gonna duplicate, and kind of do the same thing with the grass that's in the front of him, so don't forget to do that as well.
every now and then I'll go through and I'll see what layers like can actually be connected to each other. So like like light, there's a couple of light layers that are all like behind the character. They might as well all just be like one one layer. Um, you know, now if there's a like light in front of the character and behind the character, those you don't want to group together because then you're going to, that's a mess. That's going to be a big mess. So you don't want to do that. But every now and then go through, find the layers that you feel like can be like grouped together and just group those. And uh, yeah. And remember, guys, I hope you're having fun. <laughs> so uh, we don't need this anymore. Remember, that was our that was from the, the beginning, uh, but we don't need that layer anymore. So we'll get rid of that. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating light. So I just want a little bit of light to be casted on to uh, the right hand side of this drawing and a little bit on him. So we're gonna go filters and we're gonna get blur and we're gonna kind of just blur this out a little bit. Just so it's a little, the light needs to be a little bit stronger like on this side, right? So like a nice little like kind of bloom look and then we can stretch that out just a little bit. I can adjust it and move it over. It's such an easy trick. I've been doing this like for um, using this little method of just adding light in like the corner of my drawings for no, I don't know how many years, man. But it's it's been a minute. Um, so here I'm just playing around with the the colors, trying to see like what looks good. Um, just adding, just kind of mixing. You can see I'm like messing around with these colors, bending them and stuff. And I think that looks good, but of course we're going to turn the opacity down because that's, we don't want it too strong, but just a little bit to you're like, yeah, I can, I can see that little bit of light that's right there on the side. You see that? Look how much of a difference that made. <laughs> it's, it's kind of incredible because it looks like, like we have that at what, 44%, but when we just like hit it for a second and then re-showed it, like it made a massive difference in the, the quality of the drawing. It's pretty cool. So here we're going to come down to our glow brushes. And we want to have like some, I, I, as I was drawing this, you know, I was, for a while I was like, the flower looks fine. But then I was like, you know, I wanted to look a little bit more magical just because like the rest of the drawing is so like, you know, it's pretty, but it's like, it's very like, well, like browns, a lot of deep colors and stuff. And so it's like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like an overcast filling. But with this flower, I kind of wanted to make it look like magical. Like it's like, if it could, you can imagine like these little light particles that are around it, just kind of like moving. So, so yeah, so now I just, I duplicated that, that same little particle layer and made it a little bit bigger and then rotated it. And I'm actually going to blur it a little bit because it's going to make it look a little bit more magical. <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh. <laughs> it sounded like a hippie. <laughs> we'll make it more magical. But hey, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with hippies. I think hippies are cool. I just cracked myself up a lot. <laughs> so it's stuff I find funny. So here... um. I grabbed the grass and I duplicated it and I'm making it really big. I'm going to actually going to make this version. This part of the grass is going to be out of focus. So it's going to look like the camera isn't focusing on this, but it's close to the camera. It's just, it's out of focus. And I like doing this because it gives a lot of like uh, volume to uh, the drawing. So you can see I'm making it a little bit darker here um, just because I want it to stand a little bit more. So we're going to get the blur. Slightly blur it just a little bit. And probably make it, uh, I think, yeah. And you see how, like, I just rotated it just a little bit, just like curved it at an angle. It's like you can kind of do that without having to go back and actually redraw like a bunch of little strains of grass and stuff. Um, you know, it, again, it's added variation, so everything just doesn't look like the same, you know. That's boring. Everything looks like super, like, uniformed and stuff. Unless 
if you know that could be what you're trying to do and in that case then you know it works fine there we go so all that's merged together which looks nice I swear, guys, like, when I'm doing, like, the voiceover for these, like, the, uh, these, like, re re recording these and stuff, like, the time, man, it goes by so quick, because I just, <laughs> I get so carried away with, like, what I was doing when I was drawing, I'm just, like, it, I, I don't know, it's, yeah, um, drawing some little birds in the background, uh, <laughs> I have been drawing the same type of little birds off in the background like that ever since I was like five. I still do it because it works, <laughs> but it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just something I like doing. I probably will never stop doing it, but, uh, if you guys remember the back in the day that like printer paper, it used to have the, the edges on it that had the little circles and you could like peel those off. Uh, when I was little, I used to take them and fold them in half, and then I would grab, like, the folded part, and then the excess would, like, hang over, and it would look like a little bird, and I would, like, take my hand and, like, make the wings flap and stuff, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of where those, this style of little birds off in the background came from, so, just the habit I've been doing since I was a child. <laughs> okay, so here, um, you don't have to use these particular brushes for this. This is just like, this is a good brush that is here in Infinite Painter. Um, you know, I just, I, I kind of like it. Sometimes it can be a little, eh, you know, sometimes it does, as you can see, like I'm trying to get it to, try to get a, a pattern that I like, or I'm like, oh, that looks good, you know? Because um, it doesn't always repeat the same stroke every single time, but I feel like this one actually came out pretty good. Um, so we're going to adjust it. So we'll put it right over here. And then it's always trying to find the right spot too. You know, it's like, because you want that, like the, the, it's like a light leak, you know? Um, all these little things, they just, they go, they go a long way. So we're going to export this now. And this is earlier when I was talking about, I want to show you how to make it look like really like nice and um, yeah. So it, this is what you do. So I export the image, right? And then I'm going to re-import the image. So we'll click import and then we're going to import from the gallery. And you can see some of my other stuff that's in there. And uh, But yeah, so and then we're going to import this as a layer. It's the same drawing that we just that we just exported. Same thing. So this is kind of a little bit of the photo editing section, or at least I guess I guess that's how I call it. So we're gonna go over, uh, we'll go here first to filters, and then we're gonna blur it. So we're gonna not too strong, but just a little bit, and that's pretty good. So we'll accept that, and then we're gonna get the eraser, and we're gonna make the eraser so it's really soft, um, so the edges won't be harsh as we erase. And then I'll start to show you like how, what we're gonna do. So. We're going to uh, make this a little bit smaller, as always, and then we start to erase. So then we can pick the areas that we want to look like the camera is, like, really focusing on, and then the background is really, like, nice and soft and faded out. So if you've seen some of my drawings and you're wondering, like, how do you, like, how do you get it to look like that? This is the trick. This is what you do. Um, if you look at, like, some animated movies and stuff, you'll notice this, that, like, certain parts of the character... The camera will only be focused on like a certain like the center of the character's face and like maybe like their ears and stuff are still like out of focus or their chest area is kind of out of focus or whatever. Um, it just depends on like what parts you actually want to show, but it gives a really, really nice, like high quality look. It kind of helps you be able to blend everything else together. It's this this for me, this is like my final uh it's like my final stage of uh, like kind of like putting the final like finishing touches. It's like putting the cherry on top of the cake or whatever. Um, and it's fun too. Like <laughs> I really like it because it just it makes the drawing look so like 
it's almost like a it's like it's like a cinematic filter almost but you're making the filter so it's not like you know you know some people like put their stuff like into an app or whatever and um you know it's like it's like putting it into lightroom i have no problem with putting it into lightroom um i've i've edited some of my drawings in lightroom before but i always feel like it's cool if you can do i just like to see like what can you do with just the app itself look at that you see look at that it's all sharp right there and then we take it out of focus a little bit and it still looks sharp because we're picking the areas that we actually want to highlight on for them to be sharp but um but yeah so this is kind of this is kind of the final the final touch so uh and we are just about at the end of this video so um take some time and practice doing this too it might take a few tries before you get it and you can always delete the image and then re-import it again and then try it try it again um but yeah so you can do all this all of this this entire drawing as you can see this thing has been done completely in uh infinite painter with no uh, external software or anything so this is kind of what you get when you get infinite painter and you have uh you know like i said we're drawing on the samsung galaxy tab s7 so yeah so you know you can totally make amazing artwork so you can see here i'm playing with the temperature and all that stuff so these are just kind of final chain uh, little edits that you can do like i said kind of a little bit of photo editing right here um but yeah so uh i really want to thank you guys so much for spending uh this amount of time with me watching my workflow and um yeah you guys like if you if you really enjoyed this uh one of the easiest ways to let me know that you really want more of this stuff is to either comment or to give a thumbs up on the video um you guys can actually absolutely just destroy the likes <laughs> on this series that will just really let me know that you guys are like yes please more of this more of this stuff art face please um so yeah so i want to i want i really want to be able to keep making videos like this for you guys long full series so you guys can watch my workflow processes and i'll try to keep explaining and trying to teach this stuff the best way i can at least the, the things that i know how to do i'll just try to keep sharing that with you guys uh, right here on youtube and uh yeah if you guys have enjoyed this drawing you got to see it from start to finish but uh if you enjoy it, um, help support my channel and go to my website that's down in the description of this video and go buy it. Uh, you'll buy it in a digital form and you can print it out. Uh, you can hang it up in your house if you want, <laughs> or you can use it as a wallpaper for your phone or your, uh, you know, uh, your computer or whatever. So, but, um, but yeah, or, or any of the other drawings that I have up there, but by you guys uh, purchasing the artwork or whatever, um, it does help me to be able to keep making these videos and stuff. And I really want to be able to do this 100% full time. So, uh, and like I always say, I want to be able to keep my drawings for free. So this is kind of the method that I'm trying to come up with to hopefully be able to make that dream uh, come true. Because I, I don't want to charge you guys for videos. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so yeah, if you like the drawing, um, go buy it. And if you do happen to buy it too, email me and, uh, and just like, I don't know if you want to like send a picture of you like with it or something. I don't know. It's completely up to you. This is just popping in my head at the last minute. Um, but that could be kind of cool. So if you guys are down for something like that, uh, you know, uh, oh yeah, my email, by the way, too, it's in the description of this video, but it's how to draw like John at gmail.com. So yeah, I'm trying to just think of all my closing thoughts and stuff, but I uh, I had a blast being able to produce this series for you guys. And I have another series that's going to be dropping uh, pretty much right after this one. So keep your eyes locked in on the channel for that. And again, if you want uh, a certain series done, uh, you can comment below and you could be like, hey, could you do a series on this or whatever? Uh, one thing that's very important, though, I won't be... Uh, uh, if I, the stuff that's on my website, um, I'm not going to be doing like any of like copyrighted, uh, characters and stuff. So like no, uh, you know, characters from like, you know, superheroes or any of that stuff. So just, um, I won't be doing any of that kind of stuff, but like if there's other tutorials and stuff, if you want to know like, how do you do this or how do you do this more than happy to make a tutorial, uh, for you guys. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for, uh, watching this series. And I promise you there will be much, much, much more to come. Um, 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys. Love you all, and I will see you in the next series, which will be on the channel uh, pretty soon. So if it's not right after this this video or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so, and, and but, uh, that next series that's coming too, it's a tutorial on how to do, uh, how to do hair. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.